today. Today I will show you how to make coconut white chocolate biscotti. This is the second week on the Bake Off and I'm doing biscotti for the first time. First of all, what we have to put, we have to use 56 gram of unsalted butter and I'm putting this into my electric mixer. I'm going to add sugar, which is one cup of sugar, approximately 200 grams, all goes in, and also zest of two limes. And now we have to just kind of beat it, combine all the ingredients together. So let's put it on. So ingredients will combine together, however, it will be like a crumble that's absolutely perfect consistency. Now is the time to add vanilla extract. I'm using very good vanilla extract and I need half of the teaspoon of that. And also two large eggs. All goes in and mix it until it's well combined. You can see that the mixture gets stuck to the side, so use spatula just to release the sides, like, just like that. So it all combines nicely together. When the consistency is nice and smooth, you can start adding extra ingredients. In the meantime, make sure you put your oven on, on 180 degrees, and also line your tray. I like my tray in the uh, baking sheet. Right, so let's add the flour next. So I'm adding 350 grams of plain flour, and whenever I can, I always use organic. So very gently pour it in. adding a juice of two lines. We need baking powder. One teaspoon of baking powder. And you can see that my settings are very very low right now. Only on number minimum, basically number one. So one level spoon of baking powder. We need also bicarbonate of soda, half of the teaspoon. Goes in. We need a pinch of salt. That's very, very small pinch. Just mix it all together and it's nice, co nicely combined. And don't forget to add your coconut. Coconut, we need one glass of it. However, for this part, we only use it using one third of it. So only a little bit. A bit more. That's it. My dough looks slightly too sticky, so I will add a little bit more of plain flour. When you're happy with your consistency of the dough in the mixer, uh, in the electric mixer, put it on the work surface and just work slightly because you want the dough to be nice and smooth and not too sticky so you can form, you can cut it into half and form nice two loaves. So what I will do now, my dough is nice and soft now, it's nicely worked, nice and smooth. I'm going to divide this into two. Try to eat. Try to divide it into two, two nice uh, halves, basically the same equal halves. So I will cut it here. When you're happy with the length and the thickness of your loaves, you have to transfer them into the line baking tray with a little bit of flour. So let's do this now. You can make one long one, but I prefer it to do it two shorter ones. Just transfer it and of course I'm doing this first time so I'm not sure how this will work out but hopefully it will be a good size right so this is kind of ready now I will just put it 
make a bigger distance between them. My biscotti are in the oven now. I will bake them for approximately 15 to 20 minutes until the top is slightly cracked. The edges are golden and it feels crisp to the touch in the center. It shouldn't feel very soft in the middle because it will mean that it's raw inside. So just be careful. And now you have time for cup of tea. Voila! The first biscotti bake is done. 20 minutes in the oven, nice and crispy from outside, not soft or gooey in the middle. So let's leave it for 15 minutes now to cool properly before I cut it. Wow! My biscotti has cooled down now and you can see that the bake is beautiful. So now is the time to cut them uh, and I'm going to cut it using serrated knife and I will cut it at the angle, not straight. Approximately one inch thick. Wow, they look amazing in the middle, let me just show you. There you go, beautiful. And I will leave them standing up, just like that, on my baking tray, leaving a space in between them, so they will bake nicely inside as well. And I will bake them for approximately 15 minutes, not longer, and then I will leave them to cool before I do the rest. So let's carry on with cutting. It's very, very important to leave them to cool before you start cutting them, otherwise they will just crumble. Oh, I'm so pleased with them. For the first time I'm ma making them, they look absolutely amazing. Wow. I just took them out from the oven and I'm really happy how they're baked because they're nice and crispy on the outside and not overbake in the middle. So let's leave them now to cool before we decorate them. Biscotti has cooled down now, so now is the time to decorate them. I'm using very good quality organic white chocolate, which I have melted in a microwave. On the second plate, I've got coconut shavings, an empty plate to put the biscotti on. So what you have to do, take a biscotti, which is nicely baked, Use a little bit of brush and just brush the white chocolate on it. So dip it in and just brush it on it. Cover all the sides, approximately one third of the biscotti itself. So cover all the sides of the white chocolate. That's it. And it's very, very important that the biscotti are cold because if they are too warm, the chocolate will melt and it won't set. Now, We've got coconut shavings, just dip it in from every single side, cover all the white chocolate, perfect. And this biscotti I will put it on the plate and leave it to set completely before I serve it. I hope you, I hope you enjoyed my video. Uh, make sure you like it, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And this recipe is absolutely amazing, it tastes gorgeous. So make sure you do it and remember to subscribe!